Recently, I was alerted to the latest fiasco in the global supply chain disaster that seems to be this non-stop, slow-moving, never-ending disruption of everything supply chain related. And so this one is now about the common egg. And all of a sudden now, there's a shortage of eggs, eggs are going through hyperinflation, and people are starting to wonder where their eggs are going to come from. So it's not toilet paper anymore, now it's moving into the food system. And I'm hoping that folks of this channel are starting to wake up to the fact that this probably isn't going to end anytime soon. And when the egg fiasco is done, there'll be some other supply chain thing that is going to break down. And if you have been paying attention to this channel, you'll know that we, Michelle and I, are, are fairly concerned about things like peak oil, peak phosphorus, peak water, peak soil. Um, in fact, I've written a whole article on all of these things, which will be coming out on our website in the not too distant future. And in reality, folks, this isn't going away. I mean, we are literally at the end of our tether as a species on this planet, and we've consumed almost everything to the bone. And it's time for us to start regenerating these systems that we depend upon. Now, no government or corporation uh, up until now has come up with a solution to deal with these issues and so uh, it really does rest in your domain to figure out how you're going to buttress or replace the supply chains that you depend upon whether that's food energy water or shelter Joel Salatin recently had a podcast with uh, Joe Rogan and in there he talked about two things related to eggs which had to do with this egg fiasco that we're in right now Number one was that if one in every three Americans actually had backyard chickens that they could feed their compost to instead of sending their compost to landfill, there would be no egg industry. And some people might say, well, this is going to cause avian flu issues or, uh, you know, that's not safe to have livestock in your backyard. And there's a whole five YouTube videos that I can make on that. But basically, when we grow animals in confined animal feeding operations, whether they're cattle in feedlots or chickens in battery systems where there's tens of thousands of chickens in a confined space and they're defecating and breathing the same air and surrounded by disgusting chicken dust, um, you know, those are the areas that breed disease, not in the fresh air outside in a farm where you've got solar radiation that can sterilize pathogens. Uh, the animals get a varied diet. They're able to eat insects, grains, greens, you name it. They've got everything that they need, fresh water, uh, and they're not having to have their beaks chopped off and all the other crazy stuff that happens in these confined animal feeding operations. Number two, Joel was talking about a town in Belgium where the government gave three chickens to 2,000 families in this small town. And after one month, 100 metric tons of organic waste was diverted from the landfill. That's just incredible. And so this landfill waste would have gone into these landfills, generated methane, and just created problems essentially. And instead, these families fed this compost to their chickens. They ended up with chicken meat, compost, and eggs. And so this is a perfect example how the problem is the solution. Now, these supply chain issues are just gonna keep happening. They're gonna keep going through every single part of our society. And so chickens, as one example, is a very, very simple thing that you can add to, your, to most houses in order to buttress your own food security and deal with a waste liability at the same time. It doesn't really matter what the supply chain is. Again, energy, water, even how you heat your house, um, how you transport yourself, where your food comes from. Uh, food security is one that we're putting a lot of emphasis on this year on our farm. If you're interested in buttressing food security for your family or your community, then I'd highly recommend, first of all, subscribing to this channel because we go through all sorts of content related to this. And secondly, if you haven't taken a permaculture design course, it is a systems design approach to creating stable, secure supply chains for your family. We're gonna be launching a permaculture design course here in about a month. And so if you're interested in checking out our program, make sure you check out the link down below. I'll also leave some links to information on the egg supply shortage globally that you can follow up on should you be interested in, um, in that program. Constantly changing, in every situation.